Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. So today I'm going to be making my waffles. This will be my very first time trying this brand and I actually started mixing the stuff and then realized I didn't hit the record. But before we go there, yeah, your girl went to the gym and if you've caught any of my other videos, you know, I absolutely hate anything involving the BOSU ball. But here we were, and this is actually um, a little while ago, so I have lost probably about 15 pounds since this video, and you can see the progress looking at this video and the last one that I just posted. But yeah, I did a little bit of working out. This is why I hate the BOSU ball, because I'm using 30 pound dumbbells, as you can see, and it's like so hard trying to balance, and if I turn the wrong way, I could actually pull something. So yeah, I just hate the BOSU ball, but anyway. that's just ronnie coming over um i was asking him a few questions about form and weights and stuff like that and i am a deadlift girl and like this like i said this is an older video if you look at my newer videos you will see the deadlifts are definitely paying out and here we go again with this stupid bosu ball leaving the gym i was feeling really good so i decided to make breakfast for my daughter and myself and that's why there are like two different kinds of sausage in a pan two for her two for me but uh, with this waffle mix i was a little stingy with the first waffle because i wasn't sure that it would i would have enough for the second waffle and i'm glad i was stingy honestly these waffles are very filling this is my first time trying this brand and i will say it doesn't taste like a traditional waffle definitely doesn't but as far as substitutes go for like you know keto friendly low carb stuff this waffle brand was really good totally addicted to butter love me some butter and with the uh, syrup and stuff even though it's like low carb or fat free sugar free stuff like that is still it's you can't use that much so with the carb manager you just scan the barcode now for this product it actually didn't show up so i had to go through and adjust a few things but the macros were really good and it was able you know i was able to eat that for breakfast and still stay within my macros like i had a whole bunch of carbs left over i tried the little vital pro vital protein water and it eh, wasn't really my thing so i just took a little sip now for lunch i went ahead and used some old my old meal prep and i added two more sausages to that so that's what i had and then later on in the day i wasn't super hungry so i just cut up some celery and then to uh get you know a little bit more satiated i added avocado i smashed the avocado and mixed it with my dressing and that was dinner Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below if you have any recipes you want to see or any exercises you guys are interested or have any questions for me. And we'll do this again next time, y'all.